Next.js and React become the most popular solutions among web developers. No matter if you are a web developer or a business owner, you want to choose the best technology for your projects that suits them perfectly. My name is Daniel and today we will discuss Next.js versus React. We will understand which one might be the best to meet your goals. We will explore the pros and cons of using Next.js alongside React, what they are used for, and career opportunities for React and Next developers. Also, guys, if you want to learn more about these technologies, I left some useful links in the description down below. So, let's go, folks! React and Next.js – what are they for? Ok, before we dive into talking about these two tools, there is something important to point out. When it comes to React and Next, it's more of a partnership, not competition. Think of React as the core tool for building user interfaces, and Next.js steps in as the production-ready framework for React. In other words, Next.js is a React-based framework, tailored for creating server-side rendered apps. It's all about making React even more powerful and versatile. That's why, guys, it won't be much of a comparison, but an attempt to explore what React brings to the table and how Next.js enhances its fundamental features. Alright, and now it's time to answer a few important questions. What is the purpose of Next and React? What are the main strengths of Next and React? And what are they commonly used for? I think this will help you understand these JavaScript tools better. React React, introduced by Meta, is your go-to JavaScript library for the creating dynamic user interfaces. With its user-friendly components, you can easily design interactive UIs. These components receive input data and smoothly render the display. That's why it can do anything from a basic Hello World message to advanced UI packed with rich data. It's all about making UI design simple and efficient. React has a number of strong features that made it one of the most popular front-end libraries today. Enhanced performance React utilizes a virtual DOM, ensuring efficiency by updating only the components that have changed instead of re-rendering the entire DOM. Component reusability React's component-based architecture is a game-changer. Once you create a component, you can use it across your application. Simplified debugging React simplifies the debugging process by using unidirectional data flow from parent to child components, and this makes it easier to trace issues. React is great for building dynamic SEO-friendly websites, SaaS apps, social media platforms, single-page applications, interactive dashboards, visualization tools, and video streaming platforms. Next.js Alright, and now, guys, let's talk about Next.js. Next is an open-source framework for React. It offers the tools you need to build high-performance web applications. Big players like Twitch, TikTok, and Uber have are already successfully using it. What sets Next.js apart is the exceptional developer experience it offers for creating fast SEO-friendly apps. This means you can skip the trouble of dealing with extensive configurations and dive right into building your app. People, in simple words, it's all about making your life easier as a developer. Next has a lot of advantages. Some of them, for example, are Easy coding Next.js streamlines the coding process. It reduces code volume and enhances readability. And as a result, simplifies project management. Speed Applications built with Next.js are lightning fast due to server-side rendering and static generation. This optimizes data handling and ensures quick responses. Real-time rendering Every file change is instantly visible upon page refresh. API integration Next.js seamlessly connects to third-party APIs, expanding project possibilities and enabling the creation of custom API routes. All this makes Next a great choice when building e-commerce stores, blocks, single-page apps, interactive UIs, and status websites. React vs Next.js disadvantages Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the content I make. That's all. So, as you can see, folks, there is a large number of benefits that both React and Next can offer. However, they are not perfect. There are some things that web developers might find annoying. React Two of React's biggest downsides are 
the library's very narrow purpose and documentation issues. This thing is React focuses on creating user interfaces and relies on complementary tools to unleash its full capabilities. Also, React's insane development leads to quickly outdated documentation. The supportive community helps with questions. But still, it requires consistently learning due to React evolving features. Next.js Alright, let's talk about Next now. The problems of this framework are about routing and community. Alright, first of all, Next.js uses a file system-based routing system. But for dynamic routes, proficiency in Node.js is necessary. Besides, the Next.js developer community is still very small. And there is much fewer experts compared, for example, to React. React versus Next.js – main differences. People, as I said earlier, the React library and the Next framework cannot be competitors. They don't compete with each other, instead, they work together. However, there is a number of interesting differences between these two JavaScript tools. I hope they will help you decide if you want to use them in combination or not. Development speed Next.js comes with built-in features that make developing advanced React apps easier. In Next.js 12, they introduced their own compiler that speeds up the building process. And this means web developers using Next.js spend less time waiting for code to refresh, data fetching and performance. Guys, here is an important moment. Performance is one of the major features that differs React from React combined with Next. Next.js can efficiently fetch data from the server by traversing the React tree. This allows pages served by Next.js to load faster, because they can preload data. In contrast, vanilla React apps often take longer to load as they fetch data on the client side. Rendering and SEO Next.js offers pre-rendering, a technique where pages are generated in advance. And this benefits SEO strategies greatly. But in React, pages are usually rendered on the client side, making it harder to implement effective SEO techniques. Routing Next.js has a predefined file system for routing providing a structured approach. While React offers various routing options through libraries like React Router, Next.js simplifies the process by using a predefined system, making page setup and routing easier. Configuration When it comes to configuration, React has limitations. It doesn't provide robust support, and unless you detach from the standard Create React app, you cannot easily change settings. In contrast, Snack.js can be customized in a lot of ways. Should you use React with Snack.js today? So, guys, here come one of the main questions. Does it make a lot of sense to use Next for your React projects? Alright, try to think about Next.js as a turbo boost for React. Next.js provides enhanced structure and rendering features to React. Basically, it acts as a powerful engine for React's capabilities. Next builds on top of React, utilizing familiar tools like Redex and Hooks. It improves the already robust React functionality and rise it to a new level. There are lots of ways for Next to improve your React projects. Essential tools like routing, code splitting and image optimization come pre-packed in Next.js. That's why developers don't need to spend time configuring them manually. This makes Next.js incredibly user-friendly. Developers can dive right into coding. They code logic without any trouble. And of course, decision to use Next for your React apps, or maybe not will always depend on your project requirements. Sometimes enhanced functionality is necessary. And sometimes just a React is more than enough. Career opportunities Ok, does it pay enough to learn React with Next.js? And what is the demand for them? Well, guys, I'm glad to tell you that React developers have been in high demand. Yes! Yeah! And I think they will continue like that in the future. Moreover, it's especially valid if you know Next.js as well. If you go to Glassdoor, you will see a lot of listings for front-end developers with React and Next.js skills. And the average annual salary for React developers in the United States is around 88,000. Alright, my fellow developers, that's all about React versus Next.js comparison. Don't forget, I left all the useful links in the description. Feel free to check them out so you can easily boost your knowledge. And if you found this content enjoyable, don't forget to give it a thumb up. 
And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe button. And finally, thanks for watching, until next time.